This episode of Astonishing Glasgow is a wee bit different. Instead of an astonishing story of Glasgow's past, I'm wandering round an astonishing place. This is the garage of the Glasgow Vintage Vehicle Trust. Housed in a former Glasgow Corporation bus garage on Ford Nook Street in Bridgeton, the collection of over 150 buses, fire engines and commercial vehicles are all privately owned. The garage and workshop facilities are operated by a charitable trust that has occupied the garage since 2002. A lot of these buses I can remember before they were vintage. And this was the bus I took to college in the 1990s. I met my wife at that college and by sheer coincidence the two buses she used to travel on are parked right next door to each other in the same garage. Before we get into this episode, please remember to check out the rest of my Astonishing Glasgow videos when you've finished this one, and click that like and subscribe button to show your support to the channel and get notified when new episodes appear. The range of buses in the garage is extensive, right from chrome laden glamorous coaches to the workaday double decker buses that took you to and from your work or your college every single day of the week. The condition of the buses is a real testament to their owner. I can't imagine it's very easy to look after a bus. One of the great things I love about these places is the smell. There's something about engine oil and grease. If they could bottle that, I'd wear it as a cologne. I remember taking these to Johnson to visit my granny. That's for definite. That's part of what makes places like this amazing. You just got on them at the time, never gave them any attention. But now when you see them and they're in a museum, they bring back memories. I hope you've enjoyed this wee wander around the bus garage. If it's brought back any memories for you then let me know in the comments section. Share any interesting stories you've got about the buses. I'd love to hear them. You can also get in touch via the social media pages. You'll find Astonishing Glasgow on Instagram and Facebook. There you'll also find extra photographs and extra details from my days out. The Trust hosts open days throughout the year. I'll put a link to their website in the description if you want to look up the dates of the next one for yourself. Go along and give them some support. Please remember to check out all my other videos for loads more content about Glasgow. Hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you next time in another episode of Astonishing Glasgow. I really feel like a cat double-decker now. <laughs>